Why you only bitch is getting? Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it bad, pop it like a court. Pop it. You a dork, Dude. never been a sport. Dork. It's time for Anime Reacts. And we're saying it to the max. So just sit back and relax. You'll laugh when you come back. For Anime Reacts. Hey, it's Kunta Kente! All right, what's going on, everybody? Wanted to take an opportunity really quick to um, just touch this real quick and then be done with it. I hope I'm done with it. Um, the only reason why I'm touching it, touching this now is because obviously these people feel threatened. Um, they feel threatened because they are reporting things. Um, obviously, uh, oh, oh, Juan wants to say on her videos publicly to come and have all of our stuff taken down due to the fact that we are reporting what's going on. And as I've said before and so many other times before, this is not a lie. This is the truth. Um, because I had the facts, because I had the evidence now they they want to hide everything. Let me explain something to you all. There are many other victims out here. And it's not just with the whole Vitor Nichols situation and Lakeisha Staten. It's, it's not just with them because actually with that situation, it's two other young ladies, and it's probably more. It's two other young ladies who had to go to counseling and they don't even want to speak of this lady again because of whatever all went on. So... As I reported to y'all, these are the facts. Um, the situations with Juanita, y'all had all the facts. Y'all got all the facts. You got all the evidence that you need. I don't have to prove anything else at all. Um, the whole situation with Danielle McCoy, baby, that was, she was just somebody that just came in the way. You get what I'm saying? She just came in the way. You just want to make... You know, idle threats, you want to make Facebook statuses and all that other stuff about me and Miko and everything. And it's only me and Miko. I mean, it's, it's not TK. And, and it's okay. It's okay. Some people, you know, they they want to stay out of the fight. And it's, and it's okay. And that's cool. Um, I love TK. Won't change. That's real. Um, but it is what it is. So, you know, Danielle McCoy, you know. Baby, this ain't even about you. You know what I'm saying? Baby, go do your play. Do porn to the pulpit. Young Jock and everybody else like this. All this other stuff. Bees, baby, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all keep supporting this stuff. You go right ahead. You keep on supporting this stuff because it's really shown. It, re it really has shown who you really are. Because you are what you eat. You are who you follow. Because... A lot of y'all aren't happy in your marriages and you talk to your husbands and your wives and things like y'all done lost your mind. A lot of y'all look, look gay faggots, y'all run behind these people and and you act like these people are gods and they treat you like dirt and you run up behind them because you want to be close to them and everything like that. But just as all the people who have already left before, I know them personally who have left already before, they get used up, and they're gone. So it's okay. It really is okay. I learned something this weekend. I went out of town for a little bit just to get a break, a breather, and that is I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live my life to the fullest, and whatever these people want to do in what they call the house of God, it is going to be up to them. I have been on the phone with Keisha day in and day out. This girl is crying because Vita and her crew is out here spreading lies to other families. And these other families are threatening to do things to her and her children. Okay? They're taking the video that she made with me in her interview and saying that she said something else. And she's having to take my video and to show to this family to let them know that she's not talking about anybody else but Vita Nichols and the situation that she went through. Um, some of you may be saying, oh, well, she doesn't sound, it's just some, just some, some, some. 
When a person goes through trauma, anybody knows this, when a person goes through trauma, they don't have the words for everything. They're scared because they're fearing for their life, okay? This lady has children. She's fearing for not only her life, but her children's life. She doesn't want nobody touching her children. You get what I'm saying? Me personally, you know, it's already sad enough that, you know, these people want to get my Facebook Lives knocked down. And I can't go Facebook Live on two of my pages. You want to hit my YouTube account. And then all of a sudden, old Juan want to come do YouTube Live. And, and then this other chick comes along. And all of a sudden, hear this, hear this big mess come about. And they want to bring about discrediting. But you want to bring about discrediting when all the proof is out there. You want to bring about the discrediting right before I even drop the proof. Just start there. Before I even drop any type of anything, you send this woman, you send this woman, and I'm not even going to come negative. I'm, I, think, I think, you know, 2018, I'm, I just really, I'm not even about to do that. You want to send this lady to try to do some discrediting but what are you going to discredit? All she's out here doing is just jumbling up words and, and hacking up videos, not even cutting them up good, hacking up videos and throwing her own mix to it. But yet and still, when the people go and watch my video, they find, I mean, they go and get the truth. Now, the only difference is, the only difference is they really may not be able to go and see the, the text messages. They may not be able to go and see the court documents, but there's a way around everything. You know why? Because... With Lakeisha, with Lakeisha Statton, she has her story. They're still in court, going to court, getting all this other stuff. She's being bullied to drop this case. She's being bullied to drop this case. And anybody else who keeps coming up against me, trying to say crazy stuff about me, mine, and everything else like that, you further are letting everybody know that you're, you're on assignment for these individuals. Why? Because everything that's been laid out has been truth. There's no lie to any of this. You feel what I'm saying? Just like there's, there's this young lady named Cece. She was abused and molested, allegedly molested by her father. And then she has three kids by her dad. Three kids. You know what that sounds like to me? Sounds like the color purple. <laughs> you better not never tell nobody but God It'll kill your mama. <laughs> Better not tell nobody but God. It will kill your mama. Better not tell nobody but God. You tell your mama, it will kill your mama. I mean, like, when are we going to say, hey, enough is enough of this stuff. Enough is enough of this. And then, you know, I don't even know. I don't even, I'm telling you, I wish. I wish I could have maybe had a conversation with this lady because before you start jumping out here trying to say that I'm like Brian or anybody else or I'm lying or whatever, have a conversation with me. Because one, I don't look at everybody's stuff to get ideas. You know what I'm saying? Before I even jumped on this this bandwagon of of, of Juanita Bynum or, or Vita Nichols or anybody else, I was minding my own business. Really, I was. Trying to make skits and make people laugh and and, and just talking about real life, talking about my life, you know, putting my own business out here. I jumped on this bandwagon, which undoubtedly, I'm saying this publicly, I jumped on this bandwagon because I consider these people like family. You feel what I'm saying? When I came in contact with Miko, that became my sister, not just my friend, but my sister. We talked every day. We talk every day almost. We, we, we laugh, we joke, we cry together, we laugh. You know, her husband died, fiance died. You know, I was right there. You know what I'm saying? Phone call here. You know, just that's family. So when you come against family, you come against family. This girl, Lakeisha, and even David Flippin, you know, like when I talk to Lakeisha and I even talk to CC via inbox, I get it. I get it. I may have never experienced the abuse or the molestation or anything like that by a parental or a, 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 a um, pastor or anything. I mean, I went through my own crazy stuff with my pastor up north and everything like that. But 
this is a whole nother level of, of, of foolishness. But see, I've been through it too, where the people in the church say, be quiet. Don't say nothing. Oh, that's just, if you don't like it, just leave. Meanwhile, the victor or, or, or the predator who's done all this crazy stuff is going on. Nobody's saying anything. Everybody just move on like ain't nothing happened. But you know what? It lets me further know. It lets me further know where we are as a people. You know, and then as far as with the whole, you know, and again, ma'am, I'm not even going to disrespect you. I'm really not because I think I'm grown, you grown, and I think a lot of things we just need to just, you know, it is what it is. I think with everybody's situation, we all got something. We all got something. I think as it relates to her, like we can, we can, we can throw stones. We really can. We can throw stones. I just think that if you want to do your movement of wise up, which I just recently saw that because you, somebody said to me of what you said on your video and I went to watch and I looked at the videos and I said, Hmm, okay. Interesting. Didn't know that. So you want to do your move of wise up and you want to help people do that. I think that's good. But you're not going to be the only person out here that has a movement of helping people. Nobody's going to your page trying to see what you're doing to create some of their own. Because first of all, again, I don't know who you are. I just recently found out who you were because of all this drama and you coming on my lives when I'm on you when I was on YouTube live, you would come on and I would see you and I would say, hey, how you doing? Because your name would be there. You would make a comment. So I would see your name. So it's like I do go back and read the comments. I do go back and see the comments. So then I do go back and look at people's pages. So then once I go look at your page, that's when I find out who you are. So that's how I found out that you're Hood Evangelist. That's how I found out that you're Letitia Brown. That's it. You ain't got to go cut up no video, try to prove me wrong, because baby, that's the truth. Because honestly, I didn't know who you were. I can go back two, three years ago and talk about and find a video where I was talking about Brian Carnes. Still didn't know who you were. But I did get sent a video recently about where you had, was in the church addressing Brian Carnes. I got that video. And you know what? If all of that stuff happened to you, and I'm not saying that it didn't happen to you. All of that stuff happened to you, he's dead wrong. Dead wrong. Because why? You don't misuse anybody. Because you yourself, you've already been through enough. You've been on crack. You've been out there in the streets. You've been out there, you know, doing things with your body. You've had an abusive boyfriend and all this other stuff like that. You try to clean your life up and do things right. You got to, you know, your mind is all over the place because you've been using this stuff. And your mind is all over the place. Now you're trying to find hope and peace and some solace now it's like where do i find that when the people that i come to go find it to is abusing me or misusing me or leading me with lies i get it i get it so i'm like this as far as the tisha staten and and this cc young lady goes let me tell y'all something if y'all never read psalms 83 read it and read it and read it again. It makes perfect sense. So at this point, let me address YouTube. Let me address Facebook. Facebook, I think is very retarded that you can allow people to make subliminal threats and, and you stay blind to that. You can allow people to make threatening inboxes. You can stay blind to that. You can allow people to do all kind of crazy stuff and you don't say nothing about that. We send the emails. We send you, you, Cece put up a whole post about what happened to her and why she has three children by her father, father, stepfather, whoever. It's her father. She has three children and she made a post about it. People started reporting her, reporting her page and now she was in Facebook jail because she was telling her truth. Now what?
Keisha is too scared to even go on Facebook because she's scared that the people that she is uh, got uh, 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 restraining orders up, up against and PPOs up against, she don't want them to find an inbox and say nothing crazy because they already live in the same city. They already live in the same city, so she doesn't want them bothering her or anything like that. So now she's trying to figure out what's the next move for her, even after all this. But yet and still, the church just sitting silent. The rest of y'all Negroes just sitting silent. Y'all so worried about somebody's sexual orientation and telling me who I am and who I'm not and don't touch the anointed. But yet and still, the people right in the house is being cut up and they're bleeding and you sit right there and you don't say nothing. You got all the evidence that you needed. Y'all called me a lie. You called me all kind of crazy things and stuff like that. You did. You, you called you when you got the proof, didn't nobody have a, a dang on thing to say. Nothing to say. You had the proof. You had everything you needed. And then once you got the proof, then here come Letitia Brown. Oh, you don't believe him. Don't believe him. He's a liar. He's a liar. Oh, don't trust him. Don't trust him. Why don't trust me? Why you don't trust me? Because first of all, it's like this right here. There are many people who are out here. And you know what? I'm not even going to touch on that. I'm not even going to touch on that. It's pointless. I've already discussed that before. But you get hired to try to discredit somebody. All because... They're trying to do damage control, but that's okay. I want you to think about something. For all the people that you've gotten all this information from, think about what you're trying to do or what you were supposed to be trying to do. You're supposed to be trying to protect the abused and, and, and the hurting, the wounded. That's what we, you know, I, I, I'm out here trying to help these people. I'm out here trying to help them. Miko was abused and went through her own stuff. These two, matter of fact, these four girls going through their own stuff. But you know, it ain't just the girls. It's men too. Sound dumb, don't it? Yeah, it's some men too that's been abused by their own family, but they're scared to say something. Why? Because they're scared of the effect and the fallout that's going to happen. So do we sit here and be quiet or we just don't say nothing? So you know what? Here's my thing. I don't even know if I'm going to make another video about this. I'm not even sure. Here's my thing at this point. TMZ, yes, TMZ, please take this story. Take it and do it and run with it and do whatever. Do your own personal investigation. Do your own personal investigation because apparently black folks don't believe nothing now unless it comes from white folks anyways. We've been in slavery so long, we don't believe nothing unless it comes from a white man. So go on, TMZ and the rest of y'all, the black folks that work there, baby, take this story and, and, and do your own personal investigation. Boom, boom, boom. Larry Reed, baby, you gonna do, honey, take it and run with it. Thaddeus Matthews, I love you, the cussing preacher. Go ahead, take this story and run with it. Do what y'all need to do because, again, National Enquirer, Bossip, Old Black Church Gossip, Dennis, uh, Dawson and Dennis, and uh, The Breakfast Club. Y'all take this story and run with it. Take this story and run. Do what y'all want to do with it because, again, I'm no, I'm, you know, I'm small fish. I'm small fish. And, and apparently, you know, they want to discredit me. But every work that I've done, I'm the one who stayed up nights getting this information and, and people coming to me calling and, and I'm having to verify this stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to say this publicly. Um, no, I'm not. I'll say that for another time. When I actually talk to William McCray, um, maybe video face to face because we're supposed to do something, apparently. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, he and I are supposed to have made amends and we cool now. But, you know, I guess it's still out for deliberation. It is what it is. So, anyways, y'all, y'all have fun. Do whatever. And, um,. These are just these are just choices and decisions that you all have to make because I, I can't I'm not going to waste my life and, and live my life going around here doing this and fighting for a cause that seemingly no one wants to fight for themselves. OK, had to go a little, almost back and forth because this girl's crying on the phone because she don't know what to do. She's fearing for her life. Lakeisha. Nobody else is saying anything. 
Nobody else is saying anything. But we're accepting the foolishness. So, I mean, at this point now, I, it's, it's sad. It's sad. Y'all want Bible study? You're regurgitating Bible. Some of y'all are full of Bible. Don't even know what it's talking about, but you're full of word. Don't have good comprehension of the word, but you, some of y'all, just, just nasty, evil, mean, cantankerous, but you saved. You got the Holy Ghost. You sanctified. You just, you just got it. Bible say you shall know them by the fruit that they bear. So obviously the fruit that you're bearing is from your parents. And I'm not talking about your biological parents. I'm talking about the people that you follow. When you soak up that mess, you become what they are. I'm not telling you what to do. You do your own thing. But, I, you know, I do feel for these. I do feel for these people. I do. I do feel for these people. I chose because of my heart to take on something that was not my fight. I did. I took on this fight because I care about people. Like any any person who has a shepherd's heart, a pastor's heart, you should care about people. But I took on this fight, and some days I wish I hadn't. Have. I love my sister Miko, but I took on a fight that was not mine, okay? I took on a fight that was not mine, but because I loved her, I'm willing to step in the ring and fight with her and fight for her. Lakeisha, Cece, and these other two young ladies, I, I chose to step in the ring and speak up for them. But that's okay, though. The church chose to shun them away and say, let's close the door on them. But again, is the church, is this really the house of God? Or is it, is it the den of thieves? Is it the den of fools? In the Apocrypha, it tells us that the Grecians turned the, the temple of God, the temple of Yahweh, into a whole big debauchery, a big show, a big mess, doing all kind of abominable things in the house of God. Sleeping with prostitutes and everything like that. Y'all worried about gays. And they was the main ones in there keeping the temple right. Before all this mess got stirred up, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not making no excuse for nobody. I'm not making no excuse for nobody because if you're wrong, you're wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All I'm out here is speaking the truth. And like I said, I live my truth, okay? I live my truth. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. That's between me and God, not me and you. All I'm trying to do is speak what needs to be spoken. And I choose, and, and I'm getting fought for it. That's okay. Again, TMZ. Larry, any other any other outlets? You choose to take this, take this, cause y'all in y'all is inboxing me. These people are out here doing all kind of crazy stuff, huh? They pray they praying to the demonic spirits. They trying to tap in and do all kind of crazy stuff to mess you up, and that's okay. That's okay. You have fun. It's 2018, people. If anybody else gets hurt this year. If any, if any young person decides to commit suicide because they can't tell nobody, that blood is required on your hands because you know about it and you won't say nothing. You won't say anything, but that's okay. I'm saying that's okay because, again, if that's the road that you choose to go on, that's the road, that's the road that you choose to go on. So at any rate, y'all have fun with this one. Y'all like the video. Please share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And again... Happy Sunday, happy week, have a great week. Uh, um, again, welcome to 2018. Let's make a change. Again, hashtag watch your mouth. Watch what you do. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. Time to clean up what was messed up. It's time to start all over again. In the first week, second week. Time to clean up what, what's been messed up. Let's start all over again. And let's get the house, let's get the house of God right. Let's get the temple of God right. So y'all like this video, share this video, and again. Two things I am not. Boo Boo the Fool and one of your little <laughs> friends. Peace, bitch. These, these are my sentiments. These are my sentiments, exactly. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.
Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it back, pop a like a court.